Hello my lovely Libra and welcome, welcome, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and we are going to find out what's coming for you for the last month of the year 2022 and of course that is December. So December 2022 Libra, how are you doing? How is your year going? I don't know where the time's gone, isn't it? Well, I really hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind this is not one-on-one -on -one reading, this is a general reading. Sun, Moon and Rising, we have Seven of Pentacles coming out as well. Work, work, work as always. So take the messages that do resonate and drop the rest. I am ever so grateful for you being here. Don't be shy, subscribe, join in. And of course, like and comment if you feel that way. No pressure. Libra, what's coming for you this month? Ready? Oh, Knight of Swords. Page of Swords. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, beautiful. I have to say, like collectively, this month is super, super positive. You know, there is some changes for a lot of signs, but collectively it has brought a lot of positive change and shift. shift. It's good to see, and you are not the exception as well. I'm just going to make sure you can see. And we have Eight of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. Guys, it was interesting we had the Seven of Pentacles already coming up. I do pay attention to what cards jump out while we're shuffling. So it's definitely about work, work and work and work again and, and manifesting and doing everything that you can. And indeed, it's been very really busy. I think November has been packed with, with action and December is not going to be no different. No different at all, because at the beginning of the month, Mercury is going into Capricorn, which is regarding work, work, work ethic, um, getting to the point and really keeping calm and cool. And it's going to Mercury is going to stay there up until elements of February. So there's a lot of work related issues. Right. So it feels like you are actually promoting yourself or um, selling in, in a ways, which is kind of like looking for that extra, looking for that. A little bit more you know going that extra mile selling myself yourself it is more of um really getting the things done on time or even if you're looking for a new job or new position you really maybe looking for new investors and when we go to job interviews this is we kind of trying to put the best behavior best clothes on and really kind of sell ourselves look this is what you need right and look you are achieving certain things okay you are already achieving things like no one other but you are never stopping there it's never never just good enough you always want to be better and bigger and more beautiful and more grand right you're learning stuff and you might actually teaching so for example if you have business bakery for example if it's like you might be taking some parentheses in so if it's maybe cheaper um, workload but you could actually teach someone up you know you can share your knowledge and this is brilliant this is absolutely brilliant because some people do not want to go study, but they maybe want to learn through the trade. And it doesn't have to be just with your hands. You can learn a lot of stuff and you can teach or take someone on through various um, trades and professions. I know it's all about work, isn't it, this time? Well, but that sometimes happens, you know. And now we have, you are right in the middle here. At the beginning of the month, what do we have? Page of Swords and Knight of Swords. You are really sticking to your truth. You want to get to the bottom of it. Because maybe someone or someone has said something. This is a little bit gossip card, right? And you want to find what really happened. Okay, you really want to get to the bottom of it. Uh, I'm going to clarify in a minute. But I really want to get to the bottom and find out who said and what said. You know, it is a bit of lower energy sometimes that can drag you there. But I kind of feel that this could be your reputation at stake. So... You really want to clear your name. Now, let's find out. What was this about? Oh, okay. So someone has been spreading things that are not true, clearly. You know, and any. I'm not saying it's a water sign, but it could have happened during the water season. Okay. And the recent we had the Scorpio. So maybe someone has, you know, tried to blow smoke you know and it's this that didn't work you you really caught them on time because this is you your intelligence your intelligence as as a sword um as an air sign and swords you know you it's not easy to uh, manipulate you this is not easy and no one should do be doing that no one should be doing that now at the beginning of months we have as well the new full moon in gemini full moon in gemini it's 
definitely about getting your hair down a bit. You know, December is a lot of, at least in this side of the world, is very festive, right? So getting ready for Christmas, getting ready for holidays, a lot of parties, a lot of pressure, of course, financial and emotional as well you know and some but sometimes it's important to kind of remember especially with the full moon in gemini to kind of lighten up your life even when there's a drama going on or whatever it just kind of have this joy letting the joy in your life now beginning of the month we do have yes we do have several things happening now we have queen of pentacles and ten of cups so clearly you are reaching that peak point which is very good to see and Queen of Pentacles is someone who is well off, look, looks now how to knows knows how to manage situations, manage people, manage maybe businesses even. Okay, and it feels like you are achieving that status. You are really getting that um, top mark, you know, and you're getting the recognition. And probably some monies are coming in as well because we have ten of cup, cups, which is definitely bringing that uplift. Look at the cups up there. This is your emotional lift, no emotional status. It's uplifted, covered with a rainbow, and the gold is at the gold pot is at the end of it. You know, literally gold pot, literally like that. I love the way the tarot talks to one another and tells a story when you put them together. And this is definitely art for maybe you moving home as well. You know, maybe you are creating home. And look, I've been saying it. I'm going to say it again. Home for various people is different things. It could be actually literally home where your family lives, but it could be as well your business okay or your workplace and that's where you feel you belong or is a peer group where you belong and this is your home and it's maybe bringing some money in and it really brings that uplift in your life as well and we have jupiter in aries on the 20th of december and this is definitely regarding business uh travel um prosperity and abundance and this is definitely coming in bundles for you it comes in bundles for you as well. And I have to say that there is um, some, maybe if there's any disputes that have happened before, like long-term relationship issues, this is definitely going to get sorted out as well. It does definitely feels that there's some harmony coming in the house, harmony coming in the family here. Now, in the month, we're having an interesting period we're reaching. Oh, 23rd December is... We are entering Capricorn season, new moon in, Cap no, in Capricorn. And this is definitely, it's a period of work, creating new options, looking at the long term as well, because um, Page of Wands is kind of looking at the what kind of long term goals we could reach, what is there for us to kind of aim, what the kind of goals, what we really, really want. Now, and then my lovelies, we have, don't be scared, <laughs> we have Mercury in retrograde in Capricorn. Okay, but that's going to last only till from the 29th of December till the 18th of January. So it's a very short period of time, right? However, it's a, I know it kind of sometimes gets a really bad rep for, you know, things not working out, technology is not working out. But Mercury is, what is Mercury is about? Mercury is about the way we think and the way we speak, the way we present ourselves. That is our image, right? Okay. And sometimes when it goes in retrograde, especially in Capricorn, there is definitely a good time, and especially now holiday period time, when we are very festive and we're kind of trying to maybe slow down a bit because December has been hectic. Everyone's trying to um, kind of finalize the things and, and going on a holiday, right? And it's good time to reflect. Good time to reflect, not just on your work, but it's on your life as well, on the whole month and the whole year, and maybe even your whole life in, in general. And why not still leave till, till mid-January? And it's a good thing to kind of think how we are going to approach, how you are going to approach the upcoming year, right? Really kind of setting the seeds, putting seeds down and thinking, okay, what is my plan? Where would I like to do? And I think this is what you really like. I think what you, you are very good at strategy. You're very good at putting pointers down and looking where the pyramids are, you know, reaching for the star, really setting those goals quite high. And sticking to the money. No, look, not easy around Christmas time to stick too much money on for. But this is card as well on good investments. This is card of being secure and not getting scammed as well. And this is a card of I'm sticking to my word. And you are indeed. And this is definitely a very, very good quality. Now, my lovely, lovely Libra. 
Oh, I really hope you're doing great. Just if this resonates, press the like button, okay? And let's have a look. Let's have a look with through this beautiful ocean tarot clarifier for you. Let's have a look. Oh, proposals. We have two nights, so it feels like maybe there you are definitely gonna. As I was saying, there is some resolutions coming, um, solution coming, um, resolving some sort of issue with, with the long term, maybe issue been going on with the um, current partner or with people in general. And it kind of feels that there's someone maybe actually offering you uh, the heart or even offering peace. Okay. And it feels that it's going to feel good. However, we have two nights and this is definitely a movement card. It feels that things are really moving the right direction there is a lot of activity happening regarding that already recognition three of pentacles and this is interesting we have a lot of money a lot of groundedness for you guys as well because you are air sign you want to plan and you want to do things different than others but it's interesting as well that this year mercury has started retrograde in air signs and ended up in earth sign right so it's good to have that kind of recognition okay we have written actually as well um pro progress three three pentacles four pentacles it is good 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 now let's have a look one more there money is on your mind and that's not bad that's a good thing you've been you've been really proactive this is good to say activity <laughs> another uh, no, another night so definitely december is going to be one of your pr profound positive and proactive and and action orientated and result orientated month which is good to see because this is not just only you're fighting for your rights and for your beliefs it's as well that something makes you feel better and something that really drives you ahead planning things okay and do you know what? When you're in this kind of movement, on this energy, that things are going well, you are at your best, okay? And it's not just that you're a strategist and you're planning things in your mind, on your uh, board or notice board or vision board, but you are actually putting real stuff down as well. And that's where you are really prospering. Now, oh, setting yourself free. This is beautiful. It's like the butterfly, you know, coming from the caterpillar. And now setting yourself free. And as well, could be maybe you're planning a new kind of way approach of work. And it's kind of like letting, it's kind of like, um, it's in ways that you are creating a new niche maybe. And it's like maybe you're letting go of them going their own life, like a new idea. And you want to see how that progresses. Time for healing and communication is key. Definitely, there's a lot of communication that has happened for a lot of signs collectively as well. And it feels that there might be some time for healing as well is needed. If there's any um, disputes or um, even time for yourself, you know, meditating and having time for yourself because you've been super busy. But it's time to have a bit of joy in your life as well. Let's have a look. Okay, to make your decision, ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine purpose and which way takes me away from it? The wish come true. It definitely feels as well that you've been making real decisions or planning or revising. What makes you happy, Libra? What really makes you happy in life? And when we talk about feelings as well, this is kind of like, okay, we want a car. But when then you imagine you sitting in a car or you want a job. And you imagine what it's going to feel like when you have that job, you know. And that is more important than just the job itself. Yeah, indeed. Perfect timing and peaceful resolution. See, it is going to work out, right? But Mercury is saying that this is how you express yourself. Think about that, okay? Because we can sometimes say things very quickly and then realize, oh, maybe I, I maybe cross the line and so. So there's more than one way how you can say what you want to say. And still keep your face and your image. But literally, but still say what you want to say, you know. Now, it's no need to not be like a walkover. No, no parking and fuel up. This is, feels like root months of go, go and go. There is feels like, even though it says no parking, but you can still have time for joy. You can still, life is now. 
life is for living and you should be uh, enjoying it yes libra i really hope you have a great great december and that's all i have for you and thanks so much for being here and i have to say thank you so much for being with me sticking through this year and and i'll see you in the next reading take care my lovelies